I have been going through um, Singapore and some reviews here lately, and I think this is the last one I have to review right now. So, um, once again, this is Singapore Primary Mathematics, and I use the U.S. edition. This is the Home Instructor's Guide, the textbook, and the workbook. The Home Instructor's Guide is around $17. The textbook and workbook are, are around um, $13. Singapore is a mastery approach. Um, let's see what else. Okay, you would need, for a whole school year of math, you would need an A and a B. Um, this was our first year doing Singapore, so for my fifth grader this year, since we had never done it before, we done 4B and then 5A. So, but you would need an A and a B for a full year. This is only for a semester. Okay, in addition to the U.S. edition, they also have a Common Core edition and a Standards edition. This is a set. Um, for those of you that want extra practice, they offer three or four additional books. They have a, um, I believe they have a math sprint, but they also have a challenging word problems, an intensive practice, and an extra practice book. Okay, so I'm going to go through the Home Instructor's Guide here. The one I have is copyrighted 2004. Here are the contents. Unit 1 is over whole numbers, such as place value, millions, and then you can see there's a practice. Um, part 3 for Unit 1 is approximation and estimation. Then there's practice. Multiplying by tens, hundreds, or thousands. Dividing by tens, hundreds, or thousands. Order of operations. So they will be doing mixed operations without parentheses, and then mixed operations with parentheses in a practice. Part 7 is on word problems. Unit 2 is over multiplication and division by a two-digit whole number. Then you have a practice. Unit 3 is on fractions, fraction and division. Um, so you have addition and subtraction of unlike fractions. The child will also learn um, addition and subtraction of mixed numbers. Um, product of a fraction and a whole number, so they will um, do conversion of measurements, um, product of fractions, the meaning of product of fractions, dividing a fraction by a whole number, word problems, review, area of triangle, ratio, equivalent ratios, comparing three quantities, angles, so they'll be using protractors, measuring angles, compass points and angles, finding unknown angles, and there's reviews. And also in the back of the book, it tells you what page number to find the workbook answers to all the exercises. And they also have um, um, I cannot think of the word. Um, I'll just show you. In the back of the book, they have these things. It's in the appendix section, they have um, things you can um, copy and cut out or laminate. You know, this would help for the fraction unit. You know, little hands-on um, things. Okay, that one didn't have very many. All right. So here it tells you how to use the guide. So the light bulb is for objectives. The little um, notebook here is for a note section to the teacher. So each lesson will have a light bulb that tells you what's going to be taught during that lesson. Each lesson will also have a notebook to tell you, um, to give you any notes, you know, any background information. And then there's a black arrow for um, activities and suggestions and um, manipulatives, hands-on things to help the child learn it more. Then there's a notebook with a hand pointing to it. That will tell you what lesson to do, or what pages to do in the textbook. Then there's a notebook with a pencil on it. That will tell you what pages to do in the workbook. And then there are the um, little dice for any additional games. 
So here is each home instructor's guide. Also has a suggested weekly schedule. And this is what it looks like. And so they expect this book to last about 16 weeks. So whenever you get two of these books, you know, there's a full school year. 32, 34 weeks, depending on how many weeks the other one has. So, for week one, you'll be learning about whole numbers. Your child will be learning about place values. This is kind of what they expect you to do like the first day. Place values. In the textbook, you'll do pages 6 and 7, problems 1 through 3. In the workbook, you'll do exercise 1. And the materials, the hands-on manipulatives, you will need base 10 blocks. Okay? And then the next day, you'll be doing millions and so on. So that would be week one. And then here's week two. And week three and four and so on. So it just um, breaks it down for you. It's already done all the planning for you. Okay. Then it tells you the materials that you will need. So you'll need a base 10 block, four sets of number cards, 0 through 10, fraction circles or bars, counters, protractor and ruler, and square grid paper and a compass. So here is the first lesson. Unit 1, Whole Numbers, Part 1, Place Values. So this is the topic for that lesson. There's a little light bulb and it tells you that in this lesson the student will interpret numbers up to a million in terms of place value. They'll read and write six digit numbers and corresponding number words. They will compare and order numbers within 10 million. And it gives you a little notebook there telling you that in 4A, students learn to relate five-digit numbers to a place value concept and to order numbers within 100,000. And it you know, tells you some more. Now this, um, each of these home instructors guide, guides for, um, they don't do it every single lesson, but occasionally you will see a U.S. section and then you'll see a 3D section here. I have the U.S. edition, so that's what I use. But the first edition created was, it's called the third edition, and they don't, I don't think they sell those anymore, so you don't have to worry about that unless you, you know, can seek it out and find it. But anyway, but that's the information you would read if you did have the third edition of primary mathematics. Okay. So the next thing here is you have an activity to do. So in this um, activity, you would discuss the base 10 set to a million. And then here's some more things, you know, that you would help the child understand the place value and stuff. Okay, and then you would do textbook page 6. The textbook page six is over whole numbers, please value. Okay. And then after you went over that page, you know, um, this is the home instructor's guide, so these are like the questions you would ask concerning this textbook page. And then now that you've done that, you would do page seven, problems one through three of the textbook, and these are the answers. Okay. So here's number one and your child would just tell you the answers that would go where these green boxes are. And you can see that it says at the end of each textbook um, assignment for that day, it tells you what workbook page to do. All right. so after you've done that textbook part there, there's another activity to do if you think your child needs some additional help. And there's a different activity here, so there's another one to do. And then you do the workbook exercise one, just like it's said over here in the textbook. So, exercise one in the workbook is this page right here. You can see it follows what they were learning, you know, place value, writing the um, numbers out in word form, and it's just front and back. <coughs> So that was one lesson. And you can see the 
second lesson is laid out the same way with your objectives, your note to, notes to the teacher, activities to do, the um, textbook to do, another activity, and these are the answers, and then, well, some things to go over, sorry, and then the workbook to do, and that was another day. And then um, the third day, they would have a practice in the textbook. So, this was day one, and these two pages are day two, and then day three, we have the, the practice, which is right here. And the Home Instructor's Guide gives you the answers right here for the practice. Okay. So, um, sorry this is shaky. <laughs> Alright. So, um, I'll just flip through some of these pages here just so you can see that they are all laid out the same. Okay. But in all these, you would need some kind of um, manipulative. Sometimes it might just be paper. Folding paper up and using that for fractions and stuff. Alright, and like I said, the answers are in the back of the book to the workbook problem. Alright, so that was the Home Instructor's Guide. And here is the textbook. And again, um, Singapore teaches from concrete to pictorial to abstract. And here is the table of contents. It's the same thing as the Home Instructor's Guide. It's just not nearly as detailed. And you can see Unit 1, Whole Numbers, 2, Multiplication, Division, Fractions, Review, Area of Triangle, Ratio, Angles, and More Reviews. So, this is how, how it looks. Um, some lessons may just, some lessons in the textbook may just be one page, some of them may be two pages or three pages, and some of them may just be one problem. You can see there's another practice. And they always have these little arrows here to tell you what page to do in the workbook. So you would do um, like the manipulatives first. You would do the activities in the Home Instructor's Guide with the child. And then the two of you would work through the textbook together to see you know, how well they comprehend what you just taught them. And then they would do the workbook on their own, and um, you know, hopefully that will show you whether they understood it or not. You can see here they have um, adding and subtracting fractions, multiplying fractions, dividing a fraction by a whole number have word problems here. Like here's one. Um, it says, Marisol made 300 tarts. She sold three-fourths of them and gave one-third of the remainder to her neighbor. How many tarts did she have left? Some of them sound kind of hard to figure, but, um, but you know, they teach you how to do that. I wanted to show you this review here. You can see it's a pretty long review. It starts here. So it's this page, these two pages, and this back page. Total of 42 problems. Um, you know, you can do it however you want, but the way we handle it is um, I'll just, you know, she may do, if I want her to do every single problem, then I may just give her one page for that day. If if it's several, if there's several problems that fall under one topic, I may just have her pick out. I may just pick out like one from each kind of concept for her to do.
This is finding the area of triangles and stuff. Ratios. Equivalent ratios. Practice. That's a practice. Measuring angles. Finding unknown angles. Another review. Another review. Okay. And that is the textbook. And the workbook. You can see it also has a table of contents um, into the units, like unit 1's over whole numbers. And these are the exercises in each unit. It just numbers them. And then there's a review. And that's just how that table of contents is set up. And the workbook is just black and white, at least in the U.S. edition anyway. The textbook had a little bit of color to it. Yeah, but like each day um, would have usually just one exercise to do. Sometimes there are two or three or even three exercises to do that they expect you to, to do for that one day. But you can see I just highlighted the ones, just random ones I wanted my child to do instead of doing every single problem. Because I knew that you know, she understood it, so I wasn't going to make her do every problem. And here's a review inside the workbook. Okay, now I'm just going to flip some pages at a time. that was the workbook. So, um, if you have any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching.